What's going on YouTube? I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. Welcome to the first ever vlog, workout vlog slash educational vlog. And really what I wanna do with this series I may start doing is just help teach you a bit more. Working out is something I have an incredible passion for and I absolutely love and I'm, I go very, I'm, a, I'm a nerd about it. So I think that if I can show you my workouts, and also along the way, teach you things, show you what I'm thinking, show you why I'm doing certain things. It'll help you in your workouts as well and your exercise programs as well. So that's hopefully what this series is going to be about. Um, who knows, I may do 10 videos, I may do 100 million videos. I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to try it because honestly, it made me scared and uncomfortable as holy hell. Um, I'm not the type of person who is going to like go out in public and like, you know, show my life and do these things. Like, yeah, I do it right now on YouTube or on TikTok and stuff, but I'm in the uh, comfort of my own home. Um, going out in the public and doing this kind of shit scares the living hell out of me. And, you know, uh, so I filmed the workout earlier this morning that you're going to see here in a couple seconds. Um, I filmed the workout here this morning and like, I vividly, like I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm using this microphone. I'm like, am I really going to put this microphone on my clothes and go work out. I'm really gonna go talk to into a camera and I'm gonna film my workouts and I'm gonna make sure nobody steps in front of the camera. Like people are gonna think I'm an idiot. People are gonna think I'm, I'm a loser. People are gonna think I'm a douchebag. People are gonna think that I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm coming up with all these thoughts in my head. I'm like, wow, this is so goddamn awkward. This person's probably looking at me. They probably think I suck, da -da. And it's just like, there's so many things going on in my head. And like, I wanna tell you first and foremost, like I am not immune to that at all whatsoever. Like a lot of those thoughts came into my head, but at the same time, I know that this could be something that can help you out a ton. I know I know it could probably help you with your workouts. I know it can probably help you with your own mental health and it could help you, you know, get motivated and get educated, all those kind of things. So for me, I was like, even though I'm very uncomfortable doing it at first, because the more you do anything, the more comfortable you get with it. But even though I'm very uncomfortable doing it at first, I wanted to still do it for that reason. And also because normally the stuff that gets you very uncomfortable and gets you kind of worked up and nervous those are the things that are going to make the biggest change, the biggest impact in your life. So listen, this, this video could suck. It could absolutely suck or it could be amazing. If it sucks, tell me. Don't be an asshole about it, but tell me in a nice way and I'll try to make it better, but like it could be amazing, right? So um, I wanted to do it no matter what, and I'll tell you this first and foremost before we dive into the rest of the video. I know for a fact I was walking back up my stairs to my apartment this morning and I just felt proud of myself. And like, I, I just knew like that's honestly logging my workout, doing what I just did scared the living shit out of me. I, I didn't feel comfortable. I thought people were looking at me, all these kind of things. But after the fact is done, literally nobody said a single word to me. Nobody even looked at me. Nobody said, what's that microphone doing on your shirt? Nobody was like, why are you vlogging your workout? Nobody said anything to me at all whatsoever. And that's a whole separate story. But like, if you think people are looking at you in the gym, they, they aren't, I promise. I was walking around with a microphone and filming my workouts and nobody said a goddamn word to me. So like, nobody's looking at you during your workouts. I know it can be a, a tough thing mentally at first. And like, again, I just told you, I went through that. But again, the more I did it, the more I realized nobody cares what I'm doing. They're in there to do their own workout. You're in there to do your own workout. They're in there to do their own workout. Everybody's, you know, they probably didn't want me judging them, right? So it's like, don't be afraid of the gym and don't be afraid of going in there and just kicking ass and doing your own thing because I promise you nobody cares. And actually it's funny because you know one of the regulars came up to me and we, we started just talking back and forth and I was like, oh shit, he's gonna ask me about this fucking microphone on my goddamn shirt. But he was like, hey, we're football games this weekend. I'm like, oh, didn't even fucking care. Just doesn't even care, right? So like, nobody cares. But so with that being said, you know, I got through it. I felt very, very proud and accomplished. And now, you know, you're gonna tell me if it's good or not. So listen, enjoy the video. I hope it helps. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, drop below. If you have any comments, drop below. If you have any feedback, drop below. Again, be nice, but uh, if it, it, you know, if, if I can work on something, let me know. I'll try to make it better. Again, this is the first time ever doing anything like this, so it's probably not going to be pristine and perfect. But I try to make it as best I could. So let me know. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, again, if you like it, leave a comment, like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all those nice things, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, enjoy. It. All right, let's get a little warm up. All right, let's here. get into it. Let's get into it. So we're doing a push day, right? So, you know, up, upper body push. So, you know, things like a chest press, things like a shoulder press, those kind of things. Um, right now you're gonna see some of my warm up. Um, basically for any upper body day, you wanna make sure, well, I'll say it right here. TRXT wise. So you're moving scapula, shoulder blade. When I go and do my push workout, I want my shoulder blades and my scapula be working correctly. Mm -hmm. So, one of the biggest things with shoulder pressing or chest pressing is when you press, most people round their shoulders either at the top or at the bottom. 
So if I can warm scapula up for them, it's gonna allow me to stay injury free and also allow me mm -hmm. to produce more force production and move more weight. So any upper body day, you wanna make sure you're warming up your scapula and shoulder blades because that's gonna be the main, you know, you're, you wanna keep healthy shoulders, but you also, fully right here, yep. my scapula, retracting, mm -hmm. protracting. So you're protracting, retracting, getting movement in your scapula muscles, getting getting your muscles warmed up for the workout ahead. That's the point of a workout. You want to warm your muscles up, right? So, so again, that was the upper body kind of like warm up. You're 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 protracting, retracting scapula. You're you're working your upper back muscles. Now we're getting into the workout. This is the first movement. This is going to be a flat hammer strength chest press, um, similar to like a push up or a, a dumbbell chest press or a barbell chest press, whatever. Um, this is a warm up set because again, like you don't want to just jump right into your heavy sets. You want to warm up, right? I think before that I did one plate. That was two plates, then three plates. Now getting into my working sets. Ten reps. <clears throat> So I'm supposed to do 10 reps. We'll see. Uh, and again, so th this is my working set now. So you're going to see it's hard. You're going to see I, I put forth a lot of effort into it. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So let's see how many we get. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Getting hard, getting difficult. Seven, last three reps, last three reps. Eight, nine, one more rep. Uh huh. That was not easy. Uh, and again, like I, I say all the time, those last three reps, that's where your body changes. If you go back and rewatch that again, like those last three reps were tough. They were not easy. That's what you need in order to see your body change. So we, I had set two, so I did the first set was 10 reps, second set was 10 reps, and this set is not gonna be 10 reps, but I get close. Um, so, but again, like that's the point of the workout. Like you gotta, you gotta push yourself and you gotta track what you're doing so you know if you're improving or not. This shit just gets really heavy. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. It's hard, man. Like push, 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 push. It's not supposed to be easy. Tough. I think I fail on this last rep. I don't get it. Yeah, I was toast. So that was eight reps. So last week on this same movement, I did uh, three sets. It was 10, nine, and eight. And this week I did 10, 10, and eight. So that's progressive overload. And actually I think I added two and a half pounds on each side. So that's progressive overload. It doesn't have to be all three sets of 10. Like that, la again, last week was 10, nine, eight. This week was 10, 10, eight. Next week, it better be 10, 10, nine. Like that's, that's what you can do. And uh, so that's, you know, make sure you're tracking, make sure you're getting better week to week. It doesn't have to, you don't have to take on the world. Um, so that's as far as like progressive overload. Now, what I'm doing right now is just kind of dropping the weight and doing a drop set. So basically what a drop set is, don't mind the guy walking in front of my camera. I'm still new to vlogging. Um, but basically what a drop set is, you're, you're just dropping the weight and, and, you know, keeping going, really burning your muscles out. So you'll see here, like my chest is, it's gonna be on fire. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be exhausted, fatigued. And like, so just trying to get the most out of this last set, push intensity as much as I can. I think it's last, this is my last rep right here. Yeah, tough. So that was the first movement. So a flat hammer strength chest press. And again, very similar to like a dumbbell chest press. So. Now, what I'm doing right now is uh, the second movement, which is a dumbbell incline chest press. And again, warming up. So I'm gonna do 95s, but right now I'm doing 75s. I do them for four reps. Four, four simple reps, warm myself up, get ready. Cause I'm already pretty warm, but I wanna feel the movement. And now I'm gonna go into my working set. So last week I did four sets of eight with dumbbell incline bench press at 95 pounds. This week, we'll see what I get. All right, so got eight reps last week. I think I say it. Mm -hmm. Nine reps. That was my goal. Get get nine reps. That that was that was the goal of this session to get nine reps on you know four four sets of nine reps. That was the goal. So we'll see if I get that. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last three reps. Last three reps. Eight. Nine. This is nine. Gonna keep going.
10. And that was 10. Fuck. <laughs> that was hard. That took a lot out of me, but uh. So. Why not just keep going? Mm -hmm. So again, like, like I just said there, it felt good. So I was like, all right, I got nine. Like it felt pretty good. I'm just gonna keep going. So trying to get trying to get 10 that's what i got so that was the first set of 10 this is the second set where i believe i get 10 again and uh, some, so a few things to focus on when you're doing like an inclined chest press or any chest press really number one is making sure your elbows are not totally at a 90 degree angle making sure they're tucked into your sides a bit so more like a 45 to 70 ish degree angle um you, you do not want your elbows out like this whether it's a push-up whether it's a chest press that's asking for shoulder impingement because when your shoulders at this 90 degree angle it's gonna roll forward like i said earlier with the warming up you want to warm your scapula up so you can keep your shoulder blade down and have this more 45 degree angle with your uh with your arm so you'll, you'll see that here as well i'm having a 45 degree angle but uh more again another thing too make sure your reps are hard like these last few reps are difficult like i'm not they're not easy i'm trying to push myself and that's how you change that's how your body changes i think i even get one more here this is my 10th rep yeah so it's tough grinder grinder like i did not give up on the rep so I want you to do. Do not give up on the rep. Push yourself, man. Yeah, it was tough. These killed me. Uh, so that was the first two sets. Um, I believe this is my third set, which bleeds into the fourth set. Um, and so again, so I'm doing. I, I was trying to get four sets of nine because last week I got four sets of eight. The first two sets I got four sets of ten, which was you know overachieving. This set I'm only going to get four sets. Four. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to get a set of eight, which again is you know. It's more than I did last week because I already did two sets of 10. So I'm already happy with this progress and I'm already having progressive overload. Um, so again, you don't have to, you know, if, if you did four sets of eight, if you did one, if I did one set of, of nine and then three sets of eight, that would have been progressive overload. I would have been happy with that. So as you can see again here, um, elbows are not totally out, out to the side. Um, I also have like a, an arch in my upper back where I'm trying to like, you know, almost stick my chest up a bit because I don't want to round my shoulders. So this rep was hard by the way, so. So that was, that was that's a wrap for Who sets of dumbbell incline. Oh here. Yeah. Absolutely murdered me. So <laughs> we'll see. That was hard. Yeah, that was those are really hard. So So moving to shoulder press. Last week. So I'm doing dumbbell shoulder press. 75 at three sets of nine. So this week. So I'm looking at my log book. Which again, you should be tracking your workouts if you can't tell already, because that's the whole point of this is you want to beat what you did last week. So I looked at my log book and I saw, okay, cool. I had 75 for three sets of nine. I'm going to try to get three sets of 10 this week. So now I'm going to the set knowing I got to get, I got to get 10. I got to get 10 reps. That's the goal. So we'll see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, last three reps. I keep saying it, last three reps. They gotta be hard. Eight, I'm talking to myself, don't, don't mind me. Nine, one more rep. 10 reps right there, get it, get it. That's 10, those last three reps were tough. Your last three reps should look the same. I don't know what the hell that was, but uh, last set. Yeah, so this is my last set of shoulder press. I got on my second set, I got 10. And on this set, you better you better bet your ass I'm going to get 10. So things with, some things with shoulder press, Um, again, you don't want to have your elbows super far back. Like you want to keep it uh, either like this, this almost like a, again, not, not super tucked in, but more like, and not super far back, more like that kind of like angle where it's not too far back, but it's not too far forward. Um, another thing I'm thinking about is like when I press up, I'm not like pushing my shoulders up, but I'm trying to think about bringing like my, my front delt to my to my ear not shrugging but kind of bringing my front delt to my ear to kind of like uh, allow that kind of like muscle uh, m muscle working there so it's my last rep right here i think last reps are hard they should be hard and that's a wrap so those are my first three movements a chest press a flat chest press a dumbbell incline chest press all right and a shoulder press flies so now I'm moving on to incline flies, but before I do like flies or triceps or shoulders, you want to make sure you hit your compound movements first. Make sure you're doing, if you're doing a push day, you want to do your presses first. Those are the biggest movements. They require the most out of you. They require the most mental, mental and physical effort from you. You want to make sure if you're doing a leg day, do your squats, do your deadlifts, do your lunges before you do things like a glute kickback or a glute, like a single leg glute bridge and stuff like that. Make sure you nail your compound movements first. Those are the most important ones for the day. 
And that's what I did. I All three exercises were heavy compound movements. That's what you should be doing. And now I can move into things like a chest, a chest fly to work my chest a bit more and to isolate my chest a bit more. But I don't do that. Bef uh, I don't do that until I know I've already gotten all my compound movements in and making sure I'm nailing those for the day. So now I'm moving into things like a chest press, a chest fly, because I want to increase my size, my chest more. So that's, you know, same thing. If you wanted to increase your glutes more, you would do that. Um, so I think right here, I just got fucking hot as shit. So I just took off, took off my clothes. I don't fucking know. Um, so I think I'm flexing in there too. So yeah. But yeah, so so again, this, this I think it's the last set of chest flies. I did four sets of chest flies, and I actually superset it with a, um, a a tricep, which you'll see here in a second. But um, this is the last set, so I want to show you that like again, being very intentional with the movement. You you don't just want to you know move the weight from point A to point B. You can see you know I'm taking my time. I'm having a little pause at the bottom. I'm trying to make sure I move my chest because again, this movement is to work my chest. So if I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. I'm not working my chest. I'm just having momentum do the work. I talk often about make your muscles do the work, not momentum. If you want to get a bigger chest, make your chest do the work. If you want your glutes to grow, make your glutes do the work. Do not just use momentum. Get a good squeeze, get a good stretch and control the weight. Don't let it control you. Even when it gets difficult, like these last few reps. And again, you should be pushing and these last few reps should be tough, which they were. So um, that's kind of the, the main focus there for movements like that. Again, whether it's a side raise or a tricep, you're to see here. Same thing with triceps. I'm not just slinging the weight around I'm going really, really fast. Like I'm taking my time, making sure I feel my tricep, making sure it's doing the work, making sure I'm not using momentum, making sure, you know, it's it's being executed with proper form. That's the biggest thing. You, you have to have proper form and execution. So if I was just, you know, going around and around and around and just like, you know, going as fast as I could, I'm not going to see as good of results. The, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move more weight. I'm not going to see bigger triceps. I'm not going to get stronger. It's not going to work. So um, and again, I did this after all my main compound movements. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing these triceps here. Uh, you know, I, I, so I think I did a drop set here as well. So again, a drop set is just, you know, dropping the weight a bit after, so I did a set of 12. After I did 12 reps, I dropped the weight and just kind of going to failure. My triceps were burnt. And again, you know, this is my last set. So don't mind me flexing in the mirror. What is this? What am I doing? Jesus Christ. My God. Um, but yeah, so again, I just wanted to kind of burn my triceps up and just kind of, you know, go to failure. And that's again, like just bringing proper intensity. I'm trying to go to failure, trying to bring proper intensity. So um, that is the triceps here. And again, I'm just, you know, finishing out both arms here. I'll, I'll do a drop set here as well. But, you know, the main focus when I'm, again, I'm still, just because these aren't compound movements, just because these aren't, you know, super, super, super heavy weight, I'm still trying to put forth proper effort. Because again, if you want a certain body part to improve, you got to bring proper intensity and proper effort to that body part, or it's not going to improve. If you're just half-assing it and just moving the weight from point A to point B, not making sure mentally that your muscle is doing the work, not just momentum, you're not going to see much change, man. So you got to make sure you're, when, you're, when you're doing these movements, again, no matter what the movement is, you have to make sure you're bringing proper intensity and effort to your, to your movement. So so, um, biggest thing here, if we're going about triceps in general, just trying to make sure like my elbow stays in a pretty stationary position, just trying to bend my elbow, straighten it out, bend my elbow, straighten it out. Um, not trying to use too much shoulder or anything like that or use too much momentum. So that's a wrap for that. So now we're heading to our last move of the day, which is going to be weighted tricep dips. I don't know who put these last, but they're all good. Yeah, they're tough. Yeah, so so now again, so last move of the day, I'm doing tricep dips. And again, so I did a chest press, a dumbbell chest press, a, uh, a, a dumbbell shoulder press. I did a cable fly, a one-arm tricep extension, and these are my tricep dips. That's six movements. I'm not doing a ton of movements because I don't need to because I'm bringing proper intensity. As you've seen through all these sets and reps, I'm pushing myself. That is what you need to see change. You don't need a bunch of exercises. That's one of the biggest mistakes. I'm doing six things. That's it. For, for an entire work, I'm doing six movements. And on leg days, I do four movements, which I'll maybe do a vlog of leg day here eventually. But um, you, you, it doesn't matter how many exercises you do. You need to make sure you're, you're bringing proper intensity to your workouts. That's way more important. At least three sets of nine. That is aggressive overload. Doing more so last week I did, I did an tw extra 25 pounds with tricep dips for eight reps. So I'm trying to get nine reps this week. Got to work for my camera again. One rep. New vlog right here. Set. If I get one set of nine and three sets of eight, I'm going to be this fucking is true. ecstatic. But mm -hmm. I'm going to get all three sets of at least nine. I don't. Because that's just... I was talking mad shit. I didn't do that at all. People still use that saying. 
so yeah, so I'm getting into it now. Um, again, I'm trying to get nine reps, and because last week I got three sets of eight, this week I'm trying to get three sets of nine. Um, as you can see, it's uh, not 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 gonna be easy. So. Um, but I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, so biggest thing with tricep dips here, notice how I'm trying to keep my elbows in line with my wrist. Um, I'm not you know, going too far back or too far forward. I'm trying to keep my elbows in line with my wrist, trying to make sure I get a full squeeze at the top. Don't just kind of like half-ass the top rep, like make sure you, again, control the way down, not just falling down and just throwing myself back up, trying to control the movement. Um, so, you know, overall, again, overall control. If I want to work my triceps, I want to make sure my triceps do the work, so. These last few reps are, once again, tough, pushing myself. By this time in the workout, I'm toast. That's failure. It's failure. Yeah, like I said, it's failure. So, yeah, I mean, that, and so you'll see here in a second. Okay, so these tricep dips are way harder. Oh, they're going to be. Got one set of nine, one set of eight. So I'm going to do a set of eight. It's kind of hard. Know. Actually, okay, so. I did. Fuck you, camera. I got 10 tricep dips in my last set, which makes me realize I could have done more the entire time, which makes me pretty pissed off, but now I know for next time. That's a wrap. Little flex here at the end. Who doesn't like a flex, right?